What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damien Cryer, and I'm back with another video. So today, man, I decided, well, this is actually morning, man. We just got up, man. Well, it's actually late morning, because we, you know how it is, man. We be staying up late, being be on his television on his phone. I be on my television on my phone. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed day today. What's the day, Bean? I find out. Is today Wednesday or first? Today is Wednesday, July the first. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. So anyway, before we start this video, I'm gonna let you guys say what's up to me. What's up, y'all? You look like you a little sleepy. How you feeling today? Feeling pretty good. Are you always feeling pretty good? You feeling the way you look kind of good. My baby look good. That's right. So anyway, man, the reason for this video, man, is today is. Darian's first time cooking steak. Darian loves steak. He's never cooked a steak before. So we teamed up together to decide to do a steak and egg breakfast. Also, guys, um, leave us a comment in this video. Let us know what cooking video that you want us to do next, man. And we're going to make it happen. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Also, I got some really good, exciting news I just found out today uh, that I'm going to be telling you about later on in this video. So without further ado, Bing, go ahead and wash your hands real quick. So everybody can see you wash your hands. Dad's trying to teach you how to cook the steak. And you gotta excuse Bing. If he seems a little dry, it's cause that baby just woke up. Look at his hair. He just woke up. Now his dad needs a haircut too. Oh, he No, you just got the fresh boy, but dad gotta dye this. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey guys, listen. Comment down below if you guys wanna see me vlog me dying Darian's hair. Now y'all know kids this age, they love like the little dregs and the little blonde tips. That's something that's real, real popular going on with, with, been with that. he's been wanting that. So that, I, I think I mentioned that in another video, but I don't know if anybody commented on it or not. Okay, so anyway, we finna do this right further ado. Okay, Darian, right here, these are called ribeye steaks. We have one, two, three. Do you know why we have three steaks? Hmm? Yes, to eat them, but also because we have one, two, three ribeye steaks because we got one for me, one for you, and one for your sister Margaret. Your sister Margaret is coming over today, so we won't film her when she come over, um, but we're going to go ahead and eat, uh, make our little steak. So this first thing you do, this is seasoning salt. I want you to take and put a little seasoning salt on each one, just like that, but put a little bit more on. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, black pepper, take it and do the same thing. But don't hold it down so close to it, like like hold your pepper up like this, just a little bit high. That way you're not going too heavy, that way you're just evenly spreading it out. Okay, that one's already done. Okay, do the last two. Oh, 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 you're pouring them. Look, remember how I showed you? Just like that. Don't pour it, okay, season the last one. Don't pour it, because you're gonna drown it. Ooh, okay, that's that's fine. You're learning. First time for everything, son. Also, we have the eggs right here, guys. So, Darian, I'm gonna put this grease, this is actually butter inside this pan. Grab one steak, just pick it right on up. Don't be scared of it, pick it up. There you go, son, and gently lay it right in there. Don't splash it, don't drop it, just lay it right in there, but don't get your fingers in there. There you go, son, good job. I'm gonna move that about. I can't touch the meat because I haven't washed, well, I did wash my hands, but you're the chef today. Go ahead and grab one more. I, you know what, grab this one, that's a little smaller. And do the same exact thing, son. Set it right in that empty space right there, just like that. Amazing job, good job, son, good job. So basically, um, being that this is Darius' first time cooking a steak, you know, Darius never, cook the steak but he's eating the steak now we were going to do steak tacos and we still are going to do steak tacos that was the reason for the lime yesterday in yesterday's video when darian had to eat some of the lime it's you, nasty. It's not nasty. so darian has actually i've never cooked my son a steak but i remember years ago when we lived in the same house together i used to like eat breakfast and my ex-wife used to make me steaks and stuff all the time for breakfast or whatever dinner and Darren I used to always crawl in the bed and always eat my steak. It was like, man, so then she had to start cooking enough for me and Darian both. So, anyway, Darren, let's go show them our new guest. Who is in our house, huh? 
Who is in our new house? Who is in our, what the heck? Hey baby, what are you doing? Hi there, hi there. Miss What's me? going on? I don't know why she only listens to Darian. Today is the first time that she, see, 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 look, she looked. She responded to Darian. Now, I know some people are like, oh, why do you have her caged up in the cage? The reason why she's caged up in the cage because she's been outside all morning and I'm about to start sweeping and mopping. As you guys know, I sweep and clean and mop my house weekly. I clean every day, but you know, I like to sweep and mop weekly. It's not necessary to mop every single day. So she does go outside for a couple hours to use the restroom. I put her in the cage at times like this when I'm gonna start cleaning and mopping. There's no need for her to be running around the house and sliding all in the bleach floors and all that, because then she'll get sick. And I definitely don't want that to happen. So anyway, guys, we're gonna do the steak and egg breakfast. Um, also, after this video, man, let us know, man, what type of things that you do different to your steaks. Now, I know like a lot of people use this, like mushrooms. A lot of people use this onions on their steak. A lot of people use this different oil to cook their steak. Me, I use butter to cook my steak and I also use butter to cook my eggs. I never use oil to cook my steaks because it's just too oily for me. And I like my steak to have like that certain, that, that certain taste to it. Is you doing your dance again, homie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always trying to dance. So these are the, uh, did Nina get a snack today? Uh, uh -uh. She didn't? Give her one. She got a snack last night. Go ahead, give her one. See if she'll eat one. Oh yeah, she, she did get a snack last night and she ate it too, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Let's see if she's gonna eat the snack. <laughs> you gonna eat your snack? You gonna eat your snack? Me. All right, she's trying. See, she wanna be, she's spoiled. She wanna be spoiled. She's so spoiled. Are you spoiled, hmm? Are you spoiled? You know you gotta rewash your hands before I let you turn the steak over, but it's fine though. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I let Darian try to feed her. So, what was I gonna say? Um, I don't know, like, Everybody likes to, ooh, I'm turning blue. Everybody likes their steak cooked different. I'm one of those guys, I like my steak cooked medium. Uh, with like the, just a little bitty pink line going down the middle of it. Cause I was always told, well, not just told, but from my experience, when you cook a steak well done, it makes the steak real rubbery and you have to hurry up and eat the steak while it's real hot. Versus if you cook it medium, the steak's gonna always stay really soft. So, <laughs> you good? Yep, there you go. You better wash them again real good. Let me get you a fork so we can turn over by the steak. So right now they're cooking. I don't have the steaks too high, guys. I got them kind of set on number six, which is one of the really low settings. I don't want to have a setting too high because then the steak will cook too fast and then it, it could overcook. I have this, also have the second skillet for the scrambled eggs. Uh, a while back, I did make boiled eggs and I think we did bacon, boiled eggs, and sausage. Darren did not eat the boiled eggs. He was not going for the boiled eggs. So anyway, I'm gonna turn this off and we'll be right back in a few seconds. Okay guys, so Darren is finally ready to turn the steaks over. We're gonna make these, we're gonna make these first two well done steaks. Just, you know what I'm saying? So take your time, son. Remember, take your time. Make them over so I can get a good angle. You doing it. Just be real gentle with it. Here you go, son. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, turn the next one over. Now, what you want to do? Use 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 one hand to hold that skillet so so it doesn't fly off the stove and burn you or something. Oh wow, Darren, that looks so yummy. You did an amazing job. Good job doing that. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Let me turn this light on. Guys, you got to excuse the poor lighting in my kitchen right now. I have some things on the way as we speak that's going to make lighting 100% better. So, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel good. Now, did you notice anything when we cooked the steak, Darian? We only, like, turned the steak over once, and we only let it cook for a few minutes on each side. Did you notice that? And it's only because the steaks are so thin. 
and I know that you like your steak, and I know that you like your steak the way I like mine because you eat my steak all the time. So anyway, he, we turned the steaks over, and so once we let them cook on one side, that'll be it. Now I think my daughter, Margaret, she likes her steak cooked medium, just like her dad. But since me and Darian put ours both in the same pot and cooked together, I'm gonna go ahead and just eat mine well done. And plus they real steaks, you have to remember the thinner the steaks, the less that you have to cook it. You don't wanna cook a thin steak too long, and these steaks are extremely, extremely thin. So I think Darren, he's really enjoying this more because he turned the steak over and he's still sitting there chilling. Look at that, how you sleep last night? Uh, late. Mm, you stayed up late, didn't you? Look, this boy hair grow back so fast. Look, his designs, you still see his designs real good. My barber has to cut my hair in a couple days, so I may just have to retouch Darren's hair up. So anyway, we're gonna turn this off and we will see you guys shortly. Okay guys, so we are finally back. Darian did a phenomenal job with the steak. Man, I ended up cooking the eggs because he already knows how to cook eggs. But this is the steak. You want to hold it up so they can see it? Darian's steaks look really yummy. And I'm telling you, no cap, I have not even tasted his steak yet. So without further ado, we're going to say our grace real quick. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for this food we're about to receive. Thank you, Lord, for blessing my household. Continue watching my loved ones and their loved ones and their loved ones. In the name of Jesus, amen. Guys, if you hear noise in the background, I do apologize. Every Wednesday, they come over and they, they trim the bushes, they cut the grass and all this stuff. And it's always around a time like when I'm filming. But I still try to film early to bring you guys content, so I do apologize for the background noise. So I'm gonna jump in and check out Darren's steak and see what this little 12 year old got going on. Let me see something. It actually tastes pretty good. Let me some. I mean, what? Here. Okay, that was good. Good job. Steak tastes pretty good. So, how do you feel? I mean, how do you think your steak tastes? Real good. You never cooked a steak before? So I'm gonna ask you something. If you were to cook a steak again, like later on down the line, a year or two down the line, do you think that you would know how to do it? You kind of remember? You gotta rinse the meat off first, right? And rinse it off real good on both sides, and then you have to season it. And then you let the butter or oil get kind of warm and skillet. it. It must be pretty good. He ain't got nothing to say, guys. He's just slamming. Dang. Mmm. Anywho, the steak is really good. I think I may actually make you make me a steak for now on. Looking at me like, yeah, right there. But anyway, guys, I got some really good news, guys. Um, you know, during this pandemic that's going on with the COVID 19, um, a lot of people they're still actually getting sick from the COVID-19, are still getting sick. People are still being hospitalized. As you guys know, in the Texas area, Texas area is one of the hardest hit areas um, for the COVID. I mean, Texas was hit extremely, extremely hard. And right now, from my understanding, the numbers are actually still going up in Texas. Now, you guys know a couple weeks ago, I made a video. I think the video was titled, She Tested Positive. And I was referring to my daughter, Margaret, that she had tested positive. 
and I woke up to some really, really exciting news today. She went back and got retested after quarantine, and now she's tested negative, and she is good to go. She tested negative, she overcame it. By the grace of God, thank you, thank you, thank you. She overcame it. She is smiling, she's happy. She's walking around, being her normal self. I actually, we actually made her a steak this morning. So she's actually on her way over here now. So I won't make this video very long because as you know, when you quarantine, you can't really see anyone. I haven't seen my daughter in a couple weeks. So I'm pretty excited to see her today. I can't wait. She should be here within the next 20, 30 minutes, hopefully. We can sit down and talk and stuff like that. I asked her if she wanted me to wait until she got here before we actually started eating. And she said no. She wanted to go ahead and eat. And when she get here, we can just, you know, sit back and just talk or whatever. And stuff like that. So I'm really, really grateful. Um, it was an extremely, extremely scary moment for everybody in the family. Um, because we didn't have very many cases in our family. Actually, Margaret was the only case that I'd known of in our family. And being that her job profession that she's in, that puts her at risk every day. Even if they do wear their PPE, it seems like that they're still at high risk of getting it. Cause you're gonna always slip up and go like this or go like this, and stuff like that. So that's the good news I wanted to share, man. I appreciate all you guys' prayers. People have been asking for the last week or so in multiple videos that I posted, how's Margaret doing, how's Margaret doing, how's Margaret doing? You know, so now I have the final answer. Margaret is doing great. Um, I couldn't give you guys an answer back then because things were still kind of wishy-washy. You guys know how it is when you have like the ups and downs, but today I'm able to tell you that everything is fine. Um, I know for a fact that through prayer, everything works. You know, and I'm very, very honored to be able to tell you guys that everything went very well. And just because she's well and came over it doesn't mean that everything's okay. There's still work to be done. We're not out of the woodworks yet. We're not out of the woodworks. We're far from being out of the woodworks. A lot of people are still want to get sick behind this. A lot of people are going to, sad to say, lose their life behind this. A lot of people are still at risk of getting the COVID. So again, man, just do what you can to protect yourself, wear your PPE, and try to stay the hell out the way, man. You know, so that's that's pretty much what that's about, man. Um, so if Margaret comes over, when Margaret comes over, if she decides to do like a sit down for you guys, I'll let that be her choice. I won't actually do it, or she may just do a video on her channel um, with just a Foster Fantastic Four, and she'll be able to tell you guys in detail a little bit more about her experiences, the, the pain that she had to endure, stuff that she had to go through, and stuff like that. So, again, I said I wasn't going to make this video extremely long, man, so I'm actually going to bring this in video to an end. Um, so me and Darren can finish enjoying our breakfast, but we love you guys, man. And until the next video, I'm Damien Cryer. <laughs> he couldn't even say it. it's not so cool. Is it good? Mm -hmm. you like it? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Then give me your steak. I'll take your steak. Give me it. Give me your food. Something's wrong with that boy. Anyway, man, we're gonna end this off. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Also. If you guys have a video suggestion that you want us to do, let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, you gotta go guys. Peace out.